everyone. It's me, of course, John Doe, right here in Tokyo, Japan. And we're going to do another edition of the Ghost Hunters Report. Now, someone pointed something out to me that I thought was rather interesting and worth doing a video on. For the first time in history, the, the Communist Party of Japan now has representation in all 47 prefectural assemblies. This has never actually happened before. And the past couple of years, the Communist Party of Japan's influence in society has been increasing. They currently um, boast 300,000 members, and their newspaper, the Red Flag, I believe it's called, has a circulation over 1 million. It's rather high. Right? Now, at this uh, national government, the diet there, uh, the past couple of elections, they have increased their seats instead of decreasing. So this revival, a quasi-revival of the Communist Party in Japan, I think shouldn't come as too much of a surprise to people. Given their platform, with their current platform, a lot of things going on in Japan. Now their current platform um, includes ending the military uh, alliance with America, um, rejecting Japan's entering the TPP, and also against remilitarizing Japan. And he's, you know, so those are all the big issues that are really point of contention for, for Japanese people. And you, know, you have the two major, quote unquote major parties, the LDP, which is pretty much the party in Japan, which is Abe, fascist Abe's party. And of course the DPJ. Now the DPJ is kind of like, they're just like the LDP, but they kind of soften what they say. And if you keep up with the things they, they say in debates and discussions of the diet, you can tell like, they pretty, they pretty much are the, are the, Democrat, the Liberal Democrat Party, except they, they soften things down and say, oh, slow down with it. And let's not do it that fast. Let's talk about this. Let's do it slowly. So they don't really go against their having any opposition to the Liberal Democrats. They just kind of like say things softer. We have the Communist Party of Japan saying, no, no, no. Fuck all this crazy shit you guys are trying to do. This is not the type of Japan we want, and I think a lot of not the type of Japan a lot of Japanese people want. So I think it's, again, quite interesting to see this go on. And, you know, I do notice in Tokyo, I do see more Communist Party posters. I see them more out and about than I did in years past. And also in the Diet and these local assemblies, they're far more vocal than they used to be, and they're, they're a bit more involved in the local communities than they used to be. Because they are having an effect, you know. But by no means should we consider this some type of red tide flowing over Japan at all. It's just not what's going on here. It's just kind of like people are starting to realize, you know, that these two parties in Japan are pretty much the same damn party. And Abe's plan for Japan is completely fucked, you know. So I suggest you check out the Communist Party of Japan, see what they're about a bit. You know, I'm not here giving my endorsement of them at all. I'm just pointing out something interesting going on here in Japan. So if you enjoyed this video, hey, please give it a like. Leave a comment box below. I want to hear what you think about this sudden increase in influence of the Communist Party of Japan. First time you see me, please subscribe. Videos like this, plus other cool stuff you get to see. So until next time, this is me, John Doe in Tokyo. Checking out.